What do you think of when you see these scenes? One does not simply walk into Mordor. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. Well, and if you, you spend any time on social media, you, you most likely recognize these scenes as popular internet memes. For decades, this scene from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was a rather insignificant moment of cinema. Now this scene is immortalized in the Internet Hall of Fame as the perfect way to patronize someone of lesser intelligence. But do memes really have anything to do with the movies they reference? I mean, Wonka really isn't being condescending in this particular scene. Would you like to see? Yeah. But the freeze frame of his facial expression can seem rather sarcastic out of context. Take this scene from The Matrix, which led to the iconic, what if I told you meme. The meme works off of the basis that Morpheus says, what if I told you, followed by a piece of advice that is usually rather obvious. Most people assume this is because Morpheus famously says, what if I told you, to Neo at some point in the film. But what if I told you that Morpheus never actually says that line at all? Even fans of the film have been tricked by this meme, assuming that the line is in the film just because the meme works so well. For the most part, memes seem to use films as a source of inspiration and then take on a life of their own. Okay, so do you not understand? I do. Take this popular meme that uses Toy Story 2 as its source of inspiration. The meme works off the idea that Buzz Lightyear is commenting on an influx of something. But in the actual film, Buzz isn't discussing anything close to what is implied in the meme. Don't worry, Woody. In just a few hours, you'll be sitting around a campfire with Andy making delicious hot schmoes. They're called s'mores, Buzz. So what do memes mean for movies? Do they improve the movie watching experience? Or do they damage it? That escalated quickly. Nowadays, memes extend far beyond the standard screen grab with setup text on the top and a payoff at the bottom. Memes can be videos. GIFs. Or they can even be interactive. Take this recent meme known as the Get Out Challenge. The meme is simple enough. Creators just reenact the famous running scene from the movie Get Out. While the most popular movie-based memes reference classics, this meme surfaced during the first week of Get Out's theatrical release. Many people were familiar with the meme even before seeing the film. When I first saw the film in the second week of its release, the running scene, which is meant to be eerie and rather unsettling, was met with a great deal of laughs in the theater. And while I can't prove that everyone who laughed was laughing as a result of the meme, it seems odd that such a moment would be met with almost unanimous laughter. Another recent example is the now infamous dancing scene from the movie It. In the film, Pennywise, the dancing clown, takes some time to, well, dance. Unlike the Get Out Challenge, which used footage from the film's trailer to make the meme, the dancing clown meme was created using pirated cell phone footage of the film playing in a cinema. The meme functions off the premise that the clown's dancing matches up with any song. Granted, this particular scene is rather strange, but again, it's a scene that is supposed to register as unsettling and was met with laughs in the theater. Are memes ruining the movie-going experience? Well, yes and no. For those who want to experience a film in its purest form, the way the filmmakers intend it, memes can be a bit of a hindrance. But we have to acknowledge the fact that a considerable amount of people wouldn't be aware of certain movies if it wasn't for the help of memes. Yes, the Get Out Challenge may have made light of a creepy moment, but the meme went viral and got the word out about an important film. And this doesn't just apply to current releases. Imagine the amount of young people that wouldn't be aware of great films like The Big Lebowski if it wasn't for memes. Am I the only one around here who gives a about the rules? Mark and zero! Memes may cause us to view a film differently, but they also encourage viewership and keep movies alive. There's no problem then, is there? And at the end of the day, that's what is most important.